Welcome to St. Luke's Ash Wednesday service for 2021. Let's get our hearts ready for prayer. with the death of Jesus on Good Friday, and it begins with ashes, a symbol of death. Today we have a short meditation on our mortality, where if you choose, you can use ashes as your meditation focus. And if you don't have ashes, you can use table salt. They don't have the same color, but they do have a little bit of texture. If you want to go get them, you can pause the video now and then join us again when you're ready. Please join us on Jesus' road to life through death. We pray. We are surrounded by the light of Christ and the waters of baptism. We have nothing to fear from the truth which sets us free. Let us turn with confidence to the God of grace. Amen. A scripture reading for Ash Wednesday today comes from Psalm 105, verses 13 to 17. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower on the field. For the wind passes over it and it is gone and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him and his righteousness to children's children. May God bless this reading of the Holy Word. We live in a culture that is incredibly uncomfortable with death. We don't talk about it, we hide it, we bury our feelings, and when it does happen, we rush through the process of grief so we can go back to normal, as if the thing that death comes to all of us isn't normal. The poets teach us, though, that life is all the sweeter because it doesn't last forever, that it has more meaning because it doesn't carry us through to eternity. And Christianity teaches us a resurrection faith where life is stronger than death. We follow Jesus, who died and rose again. And the power of life over death is the central part of our faith. But here's the thing. If we aren't willing to deal with death, we will never get to the resurrection life. 
to claim the power of life, first you have to go through the fear of death. There is no other path to resurrection. So today, we will take a few minutes to meditate on our mortality. This isn't meant to be scary. If you feel overwhelmed, if it's too much for you, just return to the focus of the touch of your finger on your hand, of the feel of the ashes, the touch of your skin, and just stay in that sensation. We're now gonna take a few moments in our meditation practice. I want you first to make sure you're sitting supported in your chair so that your back is straight, your feet are on the floor, your shoulders are relaxed. Let your hands rest gently on your lap. You can close your eyes. There's nothing to see on the screen that you haven't already seen. Hear the gentle music taking you away. Now I want you to just focus on the sensation of your breath. Feel each breath as it comes in and out, your chest softly rising, your belly gently expanding, and then it turns around and the breath releases. Just notice your breathing. Don't do anything to it, just let it be. Now, if you have ashes, I invite you to take them on one finger and then gently rub them on the other hand. Feel their grittiness. See their color. Feel that gentle touch. In the midst of those ashes and their touch and feeling, in a long tradition with other Christians who have worshipped on Ash Wednesday, know today that you are mortal. You are finite. You will come to the end of your days. Just sit with that for a moment. Just let that knowledge be. Now bring your attention back to your breathing. Feel that breath rise and fall. Feel your spirit, your exhalation and your inspiration mingling with the spirit of breath all around you in the good air that surrounds you. As you feel that breath, know that you are living. You are gifted with life. You are loved. Feel the strength of that breath, that gift, that love with each rise and fall of your breath. Don't try to resolve the conflict between life and death. Know them as two sides of the same coin. Sit with that for a few moments in the tension. You might wish to continue to stroke your hand where the ashes sit. We will meditate for a few moments and then come back with the sound of the singing bowl.
Now as you come back to our present place, notice where you are. Feel the support of the chair underneath you, the support and love and care of that created wood which is there to support you. Feel your breathing. Just notice it breathe in and out. When you are ready, let your eyes gently open and come back to this place with a sense of your giftedness and you, how much you are loved. With a sense of the strength that that love gives you, we can face this Lenten journey from death to life and life to death and back to life again, the circle goes round. Just trust that as we walk this road, we walk it with Jesus, the Lord of life. Let's just close with a prayer. God, our creator, you have formed us out of the dust of the earth. May these ashes be to us a sign of our mortality so that we remember that it is by your gracious gift that we are given everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Amen. Go in peace, and we'll see you on the road.